Okay, we have a refraction problem here. We have a light ray coming, starting in water and coming at an angle of 35 degrees to the normal. And it will cross over to air at a certain angle, but we don't know what that angle is and we want to find that angle. So, what we have to do is use Snell's law. The first medium is water. And if we look up on our reference table, the index of refraction for water is 1.33. The first angle, theta 1, is 35 degrees, the bottom angle. The second medium is air, which has an index of refraction of 1, if you look it up on the reference table. The second angle, we don't know. So we do 1 sine button 35 and get 0.763. The index of refraction is 1, it has no units, and the sine of the angle. So the sine of theta 2 is 0.763. We do the inverse sine and we get a point. So you do inverse sine button 0.763 and you get 50 degrees. So let me show you how you draw it. So the first thing you have to do is put your protractor. Since the uh, light ray will pass from water to air and cross over the bound over the normal it always crosses over the normal it never bounces off the normal as if the normal was a thing it's just an imaginary line so since we know the light ray is going to go from water to air and it'll bend it'll be 50 degrees we take our protractor and put our curve to the right because when the light ray goes to the right the curve goes to the right um, we put the curve of the protractor to the right, the zero line. Now the bottom of the protractor is not the zero line. The zero line is that first line. Zero line on the normal, slide it down. In the middle of the protractor, right at the intersection point, And we mark off 50 degrees. Get this good here. Let's see, 50 degrees is right there. And then we connect the intersection point to that little dash there carefully you get a little bit of leeway but you got to be pretty exact Let's see me struggling here here we go this this might do it so now we've got the always put an arrow on it this is the ray and we label the angle okay the angle of refraction and whenever there is refraction there's always reflection so the law of reflection says if the angle of incidence is 35 degrees, the angle of reflection is 35 degrees. The light ray will hit the boundary and some of it will bounce off at 35 degrees. So since the ray is going to the right of the normal, the curve to the right, the zero line on the dotted line and the middle of the protractor right at the intersection point. Markov, what's that, 35 degrees, okay. Markov 35 degrees, get that right on there, so here we go. Okay, 35 degrees, which is right over here. And then we connect the intersection point with that little dash as careful as we can, putting the arrow on the ray and marking the angle 35 degrees. The unit is degrees, so notice I have the unit on both angles. And there we go. We've got the angle of refraction and the angle of reflection. Now you can see the angle of refraction is greater than the angle of incidence, so this is the faster medium. Okay, that's the faster medium. I think we've got everything here. Yep, okay.